Wonderful. Well, thanks everyone. My name is Jeff and I'm fellow Toastmasters Most Welcome Guest. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is an Instant Pot. It may not be what you think it is. <laughs> and why should you get one? Or, yeah, hopefully convince you to get one. So, yes, here it is, the Instant Pot. Voila. This is one version of it. Every year they come up with a new version. There's an inventor, used to be an engineer at Nortel, and he obviously laid off because Nortel shut down. He invented this thing called the Instant Pot. Now, what is the Instant Pot? This is what's called a programmable electronic pressure cooker. So if you've ever used a stovetop pressure cooker, or if you had a family member who used it, it's very dangerous. The stovetop pressure cooker can build up pressure inside and it can explode. The advantage of a pressure cooker is that you can cook food a lot faster. You can, instead of spending many hours, like two or three hours to make a rich stew, you can set your pressure cooker for about five, 10 minutes and you can make a rich stew in really a short amount of time. So it cuts the amount of time you need to cook by about 70%. Another great thing I found with pressure cooker is that Instant Pot has great safety features. It has many safety features, which I'll touch on later, designed by this Nortel engineer. So you can set it and forget it. As long as you don't just throw it off your counter and it bounces on the floor, as long as it stays on your counter, it should be fairly safe. Even one time when I burnt my food in it, it shut off automatically. And that happens very rarely. So I'd like to show you some of the photos of food that I've made in the Instant Pot over the past year. Now this one is just a regular pasta with shrimp and I actually cooked the shrimp and the pasta all together in the Instant Pot. It was delicious. The safety features, as I mentioned, we have lots of safety features built in. It will shut off at the high temperature warning, automatic pressure control, the release valve at the top. This is a very advanced piece of technology. It has many features. You can not only do pressure cooking in there, but you can saute. So I often saute my meats and vegetables, like put some olive oil and garlic and a bit of onions and saute that first. I can saute the meats and then I add everything in and pressure cook at the high pressure. I bought a bunch of photos to share with delicious food. This was a chicken drumstick dish that I did with a teriyaki sauce served on rice. You can see my setup here when I was making a, a Mexican soup. I had all my ingredients, instant pot ready to go. This is one of my favorites, was a meatball recipe. With, and that is served with tomato sauce and pasta. I've got so many wonderful photos over the past year. I'm amazed to look back and think I made all these things. This was a Thai curry that I did. It was very fun. So. Yeah, I have many more pictures. This is a uh, chicken soup that I made in Instant Pot. Very delicious. So if I haven't convinced you yet, this was a, something my husband made. It's called Nikujaga. It's a Japanese beef stew. And he has a recipe for this on his blog, which is instantpot.jeffmobile.com. Another one that I really like that he makes is the Hyannese chicken rice. You can make this in Instant Pot. You basically throw everything in there with a bit of flavoring package, and it comes out just like this. So you may be wondering, how do I find my recipes for my Instant Pot? Well, what we did was we went to Vancouver Public Library and they have a lot of Instant Pot cookbooks that you can get on hold. So we put them all on hold and eventually they came in to pick them up. We just took photos of all the recipes we liked and gave the books back to the library. Another great place to find recipes is on Instagram. If you search for pressure cooking today, they also have a blog. A lady named Barbara Sheaving has sharing delicious recipes. Every day when I want to learn how to cook something new, I go to her blog and she has great suggestions. All the comments below are excellent. And also just search for Instant Pot on Instagram or Google and you'll find lots of great recipes. Where to buy the Instant Pot? You can get it on Amazon. Look out for a Black Friday deal on the 20th or a Boxing Day deal coming up soon. Right now, the price is around $150 Canadian, but when we got ours, it was about $100. So it does go on sale occasionally. So I'd like to open it up for questions about Instant Pot. Anyone interested in, had their interest peaked into this technology? 
like I said, I, I have one, I don't use it all that much, but I noticed your pictures, so I meant to actually talk to you about it because you were very involved in, uh, it's a, and I got, it, I got one for my mom too, she doesn't use it either. It's kind of <laughs> like, it was a good gadget, it was a great sale, but I didn't really know what to throw into it. Yes, yes. So we covered a lot of that already Definitely. as far as looking yeah. for recipes. Because for traditional pressure cooking is kind of used for potatoes, pretty much. Yeah. That's yeah. what farmers would use pressure cookers for. Do a whole bunch of potatoes in a short period of time. This thing opens the, that world up a lot because of the sauteing part first, too. So you get the browning of the meat before you put it all together. Right? It's very cool. And like last night, I wanted to make something healthy. I went on Pressure Cooking Today, that blog I mentioned. I Googled like healthy recipes. And she had one where you, first of all, take two heads of cauliflower and just remove the stems, throw it in there with a bit of uh, chicken broth, and you cook it for seven minutes on pressure. And then you basically take an immersion blender and blend up the cauliflower into a rich, creamy sauce and just serve that on top of pasta. It was really good. So if you check my Instagram, you'll now have just seen, I posted today the photos of the, the creamy cauliflower Alfredo. I just find to give myself a goal of cooking once a week, I'll go up the day before and find a delicious blog with a good photo and I'll try to spend an hour making the recipe and definitely has opened my culinary vocabulary a lot. Any other questions before we close? Do you have a blog of your recipes? I have a blog called instantpot.jeffmobile.com. We currently only have about five or six recipes there, but I'm hoping to collect more recipes and put them up there as I find them. Yes. Yes. Have you ever cooked any dry beans, green chickpeas? Oh yes, Tony has made hummus in there. So you can put right from the dry beans or dry chickpeas, put it in there, and it takes way less time. Like it probably can get a fresh hummus in about an hour, whereas before it would take many hours. So yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. <laughs>